name is me, Sophia. I live in California and I'm 12 years old. Today is my mom's birthday, December 15th. And that's why today I'm going to go over some birthday words. But before that, you guys might have noticed that my hair is now very short. I just cut my hair two days ago. So now you are going to see short-haired Sophia until it grows out. So now let's get on with the birthday words. First is cake. Follow me, cake. One more time, cake. Here in America, you have a cake. This is a very big cake, a very tall cake. So it has an inside filling, and then it has berries in the center. So that is a cake. Although it's just a drawing, it is a cake. It is a drawing of a cake. At your birthday, you have a cake. And you stick candles in the cake. And those are the little fire thingies on top. And then you blow out the candles and then you eat the cake. So I think every birthday has a cake because cake is an important part of your birthday. Because the whole tradition of a birthday is having the cake and the candles and blowing the candles out. That's basically the tradition. But if you don't have a cake, some people, I've seen a lot of people just use those mega cupcakes, those huge cupcakes, and have a candle in their cupcake. So that's also an option. But the most traditional is the cake. So follow me, cake. One more time, cake. Today for my mom's birthday, I had a blueberry cake with a strawberry filling, which was really good. And we had four candles because my mom turned 40. Happy birthday! And so we couldn't put 40 candles on the plate, so we just put four. So follow me, candle. One more time, candle. The candles are the really long sticks made out of wax. It usually has stripes on it like this or some other type of pattern. And then there's this black thing, and then you take a lighter, and then you light it, and then it goes on fire. Sorry, I'm bad at drawing fire. So that's a candle. And follow me. Next is birthday. One more time. Birthday. Your birthday is the whole event that goes on when you blow your cake, blow your candle on the cake. And you celebrate your birthday, which is the next word, celebration. Follow me, celebration. When it's your birthday, the day you were born, you celebrate it because you turn one year older. So now I am 12, but I used to be 11. And I turn 12 on my birthday, which is November 10th. So I was born on November 10th. That is your birthday, and each year you have a celebration because it's the same date but just different years, so you're growing older. And basically, it's just a celebration of you growing up and getting older and having more experience and getting more smart. Next is invitation. Follow me, invitation. One more time, invitation. Usually, when you're still a small child, you have an invitation for your birthday party. Because when you're a small child, you usually have birthday parties. Which is, on your birthday, you have this huge party that all your friends come to. And you send out invitations. Which is basically a piece of paper saying, come to my birthday party. And you give them to your friends for them to come.
Here in America, lots of people abbreviate birthday as B day because it's like birth and then day. So you can use that if you want, if you want an abbreviation. But when you're writing like papers and essays and stuff, use that full word. Don't use B day in any like of your assignments for school or anything because birthday is the correct way to say it. This is just slang. So follow me. Last time, invitation. Good job. And now onto this side, wish. Follow me, wish. One more time, wish. When you blow out the candles on your cake, you make a wish. That's also part of the tradition. So there's candles on cake and then it blows out and then you make a wish in your head and close your eyes. But you're not allowed to tell anybody because when you tell anybody, your wish does not come true. But these wishes never come true anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's like the truth. It's just a myth. If you wish for something, there's a big chance that it's not going to come true. But if it's like coincidental and it does come true, then good for you. Next is age. Follow me. Age. I'm currently 12, that is my age, I am 12 years old, and maybe you can comment down what your age is, and some of your birthdays, or what your birthday is, because I'll see that and smile because people are watching my videos. So comment your age, your age is how old you are. On your birthday, on November 10th, 2015, I turned 12, so I was 12 years old. 12 was my new age. How old you are. Next is card. Follow me, card. One more time, card. Card is basically the opposite of an invitation. Invitation you give out, and then when it's your birthday, you get cards from people. Which is just a little note saying happy birthday, thanks for being my friend, and stuff like that. And usually when you get a card, you get a gift with it, or you can call it a present. A gift or a present. Which is just a small item that they give you with the card because it's an actual thing and it's your birthday and they're congratulating for growing one year and being able to survive another year in your life. So follow me. Gift. Once more. Gift. And follow me. Present. Good job. So now, let's just review all the words. First, cake. Follow me, cake. Next, candle. Next, birthday. And then, celebration. Invitation. Wish. Age. Card. Gift. And present. And these two basically mean the same thing. So comment down below what your age is, what your birthday is, and anything else about birthdays, basically. And happy birthday to my mom. And remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye!